Well, I am headed to the uh, Republican Party Christmas party in Hel for Hidalgo County, and I'm I got my dollar thirty six ugly sweater I got from Salvation Army thrift store, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna have fun. Got to thinking about some things today. Um, I, my first experience in financial services, I actually was a venture capital broker, and it wasn't near as glamorous as what it sounds. I had to do like, you know, two hundred dials a day, calling people, and all I knew that they were some kind of investor. They might have invested in their four hundred one k or their bank CD, or you know, didn't know what I was getting. And uh, but we were looking for accredited investors, and so the definition for an accredited inv investor is a individual or entity with over a million dollars in assets which is including real property and they had to have their assets allocated a certain way 50 percent had to be in conservative investments cash bonds municipal bonds uh, corporate bonds government bonds um, they were they consider blue chip stocks and um, and uh, you know, in that category, fifty percent of their assets should have been in something like that, and then forty percent real estate, mutual funds, and uh, small cap stocks, and ten percent risky oil and gas commodities, forex, venture capital, and you know, because if you lost, if you lost it, it's only ten percent, but if you, you get, if it you hit, the, hit a gusher, you know, with your oil well, and you had to reallocate into that model. Now, with the dot com crash, and then in um, in the nineties, and then the uh, the toxic assets, the in the real estate crash, and in a 2008 um, you know a lot of things I hit you know oh yeah CDs was, a, was another one that should have been in the, in the safe category you know but there's also something called opportunity costs right if your money's not getting you know less than one percent you know if you're not even keeping up with inflation which is an average of four percent so it got me thinking about my goodness these index universal life products not only are they the floor, you can't lose your money, um, they get a better rate of return than a CD ever did, or whole life ever did, and uh, but also they got this, the tax advantages, and that's something we never talk to anybody about, other than, you know, the, being a business, doing venture capital, they could get the tax write off. So they just like totally, you know, it changes the whole asset allocation model. Yeah, if you have real estate, make sure it's no more than 40% of your portfolio, All right? Or if you're gonna be in the market, you know, with variable products, same thing. And then if you got your your day trading or doing Forex or um, oil and gas commodities, you know, then 10%, but when you hit it big, you reallocate. And having an index universal select product is ideal for that. Merry Christmas.